Well, he's credited with helping to lay the foundation for our transition to democracy. His negotiations with Cyril Ramaphosa led to the landmark 1994 elections. So, former Constitutional Affairs Minister Rolf Meir is more than well versed with what it takes to broker peace in times of conflict. Today, Mayor is the director of the In Transformation Initiative, which supports countries undergoing transition. He joins us live now from Pretoria. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. You immediately sprung to mind uh, when uh, President Ramaphosa suggested that the time for discussion and uh, negotiations is over. It's time for mediation and uh, calls for South Africa to play some kind of role in talks are we still relevant, though, on the world stage when it comes to negotiating a peaceful way forward? Um, good morning. Thank you very much for inviting me to, to participate in this, in this important question of uh, how can we contribute, if at all. I think that the, the point is that South Africa comes with a, a deep experience of our own transition and what led to the transition uh, coming out of a very difficult time uh, through apartheid and, and, and then sitting down at the table and, and realizing we have to find answers on going forward through talks, dialogue and negotiations. So I think we, we certainly have the experience. And, and by the way, with regard to your reference, South Africa's case, uh, as far as the international experience is concerned, is still a benchmark in the world. I experience that on an ongoing basis through the request that we received from many in conflict to, to, to share our experience uh, with them and how to resolve their own issues. And, and I can refer here to a number of countries around the world that, that come forward with those requests on an ongoing basis almost. But, but the, the Ukraine situation is, is a far more difficult one. And I think, you know, um, it's embedded in history that, uh, that would be difficult for us to have a proper understanding about. Uh, so I would be hesitant to say South Africa can play a, a, a direct role in that. Of course, if, if there are requests that we should uh, try and do something about it, we will not hesitate. But, uh, but it's, it's at a greater global stage, this conflict at the moment, and there are plenty of, I can imagine, uh, participants who would like to uh, to offer their services. Uh, let's see how it unfolds. Uh, the point I think is what is important is that the sooner talks can seriously be undertaken, the, the, the better because uh, that can save lives, that can save further uh, violent uh, action and reaction. And so I think it's important that talks uh, get underway. Mr. Mayor, you've consulted on international peace processes, Northern Ireland, Rwanda, Kosovo, but have you ever had to deal with a leader such as Vladimir Putin, uh, who, who many say we as Westerners, if that's what we are, just cannot begin to understand his mindset and his thought processes and what he's actually saying from a Russian historical point of view. Yeah, it's 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 difficult. You know, I I I have a direct experience at the moment of of the situation in Myanmar, where we have been involved over a period of time to help with the democratization process, and then it was cut short a year ago by the military rulers, and 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 since then there's no chance of any. Uh, progress with regard to finding answers there. So that type of situation is playing out there in practically the same way as we are seeing at, at the moment with regard to Putin and Russia's actions. Uh, I, I must say, I think the reaction uh, that, uh, that uh, is now coming from the, the international community against Putin and Russia uh, was probably a bit, bit of, a, of, a, of a surprise to them. Uh, and I think that the price that they're going to pay reminds me of the price that apartheid rule in South Africa had to pay through sanctions and punitive measures. So, um, you know, uh, there are other cases of the same kind in recent history, even in, in the last decade or three, uh, where, where similar action were taken. Um, the, the, the one of Putin and what he's doing at the moment is obviously totally unacceptable. 
but there were similar other cases that uh, that we have to remind ourselves of too. Mr. Mayor, I mean, when Codesa collapsed, you and Cyril Ramaphosa were key negotiators, and, and you became close friends in that process. South Africa's had a conflicting statement in terms of not condemning Russia's aggression, and I take it that's from a may, largely historical context. Do you think that we as South Africans, as, as a nation, should be far more uh, aggressive and assertive in condemning Putin's actions? Um, you know, I, I I think the, the government must speak for itself as far as this is, but my personal opinion is that uh, obviously there is the historical relationship between the ANC or the ruling party and, and uh, the Soviet Union and later on with the Russian Federation. But there's also the relationship within the BRICS uh, uh, fault. Um, we've seen the reaction from Brazil as a member of BRICS. We've seen the reaction from India as a member of BRICS. And, and that is more or less, uh, you know, a, a friendly reaction in both cases uh, towards uh, towards Russia and, and Putin. And I, I assume it comes from the relationship within, within the BRICS. Uh, but what my personal view would be, and I think that should be the view of the South African nation as well, is what is currently happening as far as the onslaught from uh, or the invasion from Russia is concerned. It's totally unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable, and we have to speak out on that. It was similarly unacceptable what happened in the case of Iraq when the U.S. invaded in 2003. Uh, and, and those are the things that the world can't tolerate. And we have to take our views about that very clearly and make it public.